Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy Travis back again here at Big Boy Toy Reviews. And today we are taking a look at a Marvel Legends figure, which is uh, very unusual for my channel because if uh, you don't know, I don't collect a lot of Marvel Legends, just very specific ones like the good ones. Um, and I think this is one of their good ones, one of their best releases of the year so far. So as you can see, we are looking at the looking at the uh, comic She-Hulk and this is the box not too much to the box obviously i mean most people that collect figures have seen marvel legends packaging before i think this is a bit different than normal Mar marvel legends marvel legends packaging uh, it looks like it's a little bit bigger but i guess it might be because she's a bigger figure but anyway let's get her out of the uh packaging and uh take a better look at her all right so here we have her out of the packaging and she looks really really good i think they did a really good job for you know a hasbro product um i think I, I think she looks really really good let's get a close-up on her so um i do really really like the face i think the uh what do they call it whatever they do for the printing i think that looks really really good um you can actually see the eyelashes and everything so that's nice i think they nailed the head sculpt like this is a really really good head sculpt um surprisingly good uh, i know they do do a good job sometimes with these heads but they they um they sometimes have a very uncanny valley look to them for example here i'll give you an example of one that's really really bad so here i have i think this is canary i forget is that what her name is i don't remember i randomly bought her for some reason i don't know why but anyway this is an example of that uncanny valley look that they give the faces sometimes it's way hyper realistic it's not comic booky at all like she was never in this isn't a movie figure i don't know why they're trying to make it look like a real person so i'm definitely looking for a different a custom head for this chick but um that's an example of what i'm talking about whereas she hulk does it she looks like a comic character comic book character and that is absolutely wonderful i freaking love it i love the way the hair is done I like the uh, green highlights that they have in it. Um, so that's really, really nice. Um, obviously there's gonna be some uh, articulation issues with this long, stiff hair, but I think it flows very nicely. It's very big, obviously, but the way that it drapes down on her, it doesn't look like, it's just, it doesn't look like it's a thick piece of plastic, which is what it is, but it looks like it's like sitting on her correctly. It's like properly to her back. Like you don't see big gaps in between. So I really like that there. I have, I, I have a couple of Marvel legend female figures that have long hair and you see like just large gaps in between their hair and their, and their back. And it's just not how hair works. So especially long hair like, <clears throat> like this. So yeah, she is properly muscular, um, which is really, really good. Um, I think I'm not, I'm not trying to hyper sexualize or anything, but I, I want to, I want to say her boobs are actually bigger than this, but they are pretty big for a big woman like this. I do got a, looks like I got some smudge, some smudge, some, ugh, my nails are gross. My nails are always gross. My skin is so dry <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, I had a little, I had some crap on it. I have some crap on mine there and I. I'll try to get that off, but I like the green. I really, really like the green that they chose. This is very gamma. Is it gamma green? Something is that what it's called? A uh, bright, bright, like fluorescent green. I really, really like it. I am a little troubled by the discoloration in the uh, in the joints. I'm not I, is that because it's a different plastic? Is that why it's a different color? I wonder. It's in the knees as well, so I'm not quite sure why that happened, but. She has proper cheeks. She got some nice cheeks. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the rest of it is typical Marvel Legends stuff. I mean, the painting is done relatively nicely. It's a little fuzzy, but for Marvel Legends, that's not bad. The paint around, I think this is actually sculpted. Or is that paint? Let me see. Now, uh, yeah, it looks like it's 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 a white plastic. So that's good. They, they, didn't use, they didn't have to use a lot of paint here, which is really, really good. Same thing with this piece here. This is a separate piece. So that was molded in white, molded in purple. So that's really, really good. Um, then we do have painting here. And that looks really good for Marvel Legends. I'm not mad at that. Um, it's fuzzy, but it's not bad. It's really not. So I do like that. It's unfortunate that it's painted and not like its own separate piece, but eh. 
you can't expect much from uh you can't expect that much from marvel legends to be honest with you uh but yeah she looks excellent i really really like this head sculpt like this is this is this 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 was this is what makes the the figure really this head sculpt and hopefully they reuse this body again to, for I, I i wonder i don't know if there's any like big uh female characters other than her that would use this this large of a body because this is a whole new book a female book so they'll probably make more versions of her obviously in different outfits and use this body i'm sure of it um, but i wonder if there would be any other women that will use that will use this this body uh, tell me in the comments if you know of any women that are this big in uh, the comics that would you re they, they can reuse this for but anyway let's get on to the articulation Alrighty, now for articulation now the head is obviously going to be an issue because of all this hair so she can turn a little bit she can look down uh, can she look down let's see what we're using here for a joint okay so we got a ball peg nice a double ball peg here um they probably could have did this a little bit better they didn't leave a whole lot of room for that ball to move around but because she has so much hair it wouldn't have mattered anyway so she can look down a little bit there she can't look up at all obviously she can't turn her head around uh, but it's always going to be looking like she's kind of looking down because that, that hair is going to run into the uh the shoulders uh speaking of the shoulders she can go parallel right there she does have a nice bicep swivel over 90 degrees on the elbow and she has the hinge joint like that going this way instead of uh set up and down same with this one uh, this does this spin no it doesn't spin um then obviously she can do the splits that's very nice i like that she does obviously have a thigh swivel there over 90 degrees uh, with the knee uh, she can move her foot up that much down that much and she does have a nice it's a bit steep but she oh she does have a a shin twist which obviously that nobody's shin can do that but I guess it's useful for her having to turn her, her because it's such a steep uh such a steep uh ankle rocker uh but yeah it is what it is i mean they just could have made the foot better but yeah that is it for articulation so let's move on to accessories all right so she does come with two fist hands so those are taped in the packaging there and i'll she'll probably have those on when i display her and then she comes with uh, maybe not i might i might keep the the hands the grabbing hand so it can look like she's bending this gun but uh the gun is done all right i mean there's no paint to be spoken of on this and it's very bendable which it should be if you want to display her breaking it but yeah i don't know what kind of gun this is but that's it that is it for accessories so let's go on to comparisons all right so here she is next to the x-men 97 jean gray and then we have the gray she hulk i forget what way this was from um and she is properly larger than the other She-Hulk, the old She-Hulk. I didn't get the green version of her because I couldn't find her in my store, so I just didn't feel like ordering it online. But this is for sure a much better She-Hulk than this one. Um, this is the definitive She-Hulk in the collection for sure, but she'll still, she'll still have her spot because she is gray. Hopefully we'll get a gray version in this body. Um, but there she is with two other, Mar two Mar two other Marvel Legends. Alrighty, now here she is next to the X Men '97 Goblin Queen, and then the uh, pocket art, pocket art, uh, Habe Sasashi or whatever her name is. But yeah, here she is next to like a third party figure, and obviously she's towering over both of these, these here. So that's really cool. Alrighty, and here she is next to two other larger figures. Here she is next to Yamamoto from SHR, HR, SH Figure Arts, uh, One Piece. And then I forget the uh, other girl's name here, but that's one of the third party figures. Uh, I reviewed her link is in the description below, but uh, yeah, and that is it for comparisons. So let's get on to my final thoughts. All right, and for my final thoughts, she is a fantastic figure. I don't have any complaints about her at all. Um, the, the gun is kind of hard to get in her hand. She doesn't hold it very well, so I guess that could be a complaint. I think the only other thing that I would have liked with this figure was a, another head sculpt, like an angry head sculpt. That would have been nice for her to have come with also. So another head sculpt would have been nice. But other than that, she's an awesome figure. She is a must get in my opinion. And so far for me, from what I've seen, I am waiting for Cable to come um, from BBTS and waiting for that Cable to come. But other than that, I think this, might be the best Marble Legends 
figure that has come out this year so far that I'm interested in anyway. I don't want the Hawk, the, uh, I don't want, uh, Angel. I don't want him. Um, what else? The X-Men 97 stuff is pretty good. I do like that Wolverine. I do surprisingly like this Jean Grey. I thought I wouldn't like it, but her head sculpt is absolutely spot on. Amazing. So I love that. I just wanted to mention that, but because I didn't do a review of this, this figure, um, but I thought I was going to be really pissed off because of the lack of a, uh, of a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, I don't know. My brain isn't functioning on Monday. A, uh, God damn it, torso, uh, the lack of a torso joint there. But uh, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's not like she's a, she's meant to do a whole lot of flipping or anything. I'm not reviewing this character. I don't know that figure. I don't know why I haven't talked about it. Anyway, this might be the best so far this year in my humble opinion. So anyway, that's it for the review. Like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.